Now I'm going to show you how to prime your primary and secondary line to begin chemo administration. The first thing you'll need is a bag to prime. Most of the time we use normal saline, but for specific drugs you might need to use dextrose solution. Then I'm going to take my primary tubing. I'll spike my prime bag. All right. So I'll insert the cassette into the pump. Alright, the second thing I'm going to do is take my special chemotherapy secondary tubing and open the package. I'm going to take special care to keep my um, access points clean and sterile. There's a cap in here that I'm going to pull out. So I will use this to cap the end of the tubing above the chamber. So carefully pull out the tubing above the chamber and cap the end of this with the cap provided. Now I like to kind of leave this in the package a little bit before I connect it to keep the end sterile. So I take my alcohol slot and clean my hub. And I'll remove my tubing, again taking care to keep, <laughs> to keep the end clean and sterile. When the alcohol has dried, I will twist to connect to the primary tubing. And then I usually like to just hang this kind of out of the way. The next step is to turn on the pump and prime the pump. Notice this doesn't have any saline in it, so that's where I'll start. Well, I'm going to make sure we're on the oncology section. And then I'm going to use the back prime feature to prime this tubing. And you'll want to make sure that you prime it just to the chamber. Then I'll clamp, oops, clamp my tubing. And again, I just like to hang it kind of out of the way. Now I'm ready to attach my chemotherapy to my secondary line. So I'll take my chemo out of my chemotherapy bag and I'll lay it flat on my prep mat. I'll take another alcohol swab and clean the port on the end of the bag. I'm keeping this at waist level, I'll lay the bag flat, kind of cradling the connection piece. I'll take my secondary tubing, remove the cap that I put on there to keep it sterile, and I will twist that on to my chemotherapy bag. Then I can hang this and make sure to unclamp my line. And I like to give my chamber a squeeze just to make sure the chemo comes down into the chamber. The next step is to prime the line using the B channel to get all of this saline um, out. So when you start the chemotherapy, it's at the tip of the tubing. So to do that, I'm going to push my B under the drug list. For the flush, I'm going to check maintenance IV. I'm going to go ahead and do 999 as my rate, but very importantly, I'm only going to do 15 mLs. 
because I would not want to give chemotherapy at a rate of 999. 15 mils will allow us to get the chemotherapy through the secondary piece and through the rest of the primary tubing. So then I'll go ahead and hit start. And we're flushing. At this point, it's always a good idea to put your stickers. You can do that now or at the end. Personally, I forget if I don't do it now. <laughs> so I'll put one sticker on the primary line just above the pump to indicate that this is chemotherapy. I'll put a second sticker on my secondary chemotherapy tubing just above the pump. And the third sticker goes right at the end of the tubing, right before the patient connection. So we're good to go.